right, so what we're going to do is I want to show you so you can visually see how we are threading the back heddle, which will be referred to as heddle two. I've already put threads going through the holes in these slots, but I left these um, to go so you can see me do it in real time. Each of these, um, each of the bundles of thread going through the slots are four threads. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking one of the threads from this bundle of four and we're going to be putting it through this hole, the hole to the right of it. So we take one of the threads from the bundle of four and put it in the hole to the right. Now the nice thing about the Cricut loom is that you can prop it up like this against the table. It makes it easier on your back when you're slaying your reed. But um, for the sake of the video, I'm going to put it like here so you're going to be able to see it a little bit better. But for yourself, when you do it, go ahead and put it in a comfortable position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the three, one of the four threads, I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to take my hook and grab a hole of it and pull it through the hole. That's it. Let's do it again. I'm going to take my bundle of four, I'm going to take one of the threads, I'm going to pull it out separate it from the bundle, you're leaving three in the slot, one in the hole. Okay, we're taking one from the bundle, pulling it out, pull it through the slot, so you have three in this slot, and one in the hole, last one. I'm going to take one of the threads, pull it out so that I can pull it through the hole, leaving three in the slot, one in the hole. Mm -hmm. 